Okay, you guys, it's me, Nightmare, and I just want to say, I'm sick of his ass. I'm so sick of him. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick of this motherfucker. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, seven days a week. First things first, we must talk about the concept of because he ate that shit. Period. Gozzled it up. Glizzied it up. Like, he really makes me question my sanity as a human being and as a woman, truly. I, I don't understand. I truly don't. I, I, I just... No, I mean truly. Get you a man that can really go through thick and thin. Go through the storms of life. Go through every tragic accident known to mankind and still for some reason survive like truly I don't understand like through this, throughout this whole like music video I felt for the girl more than anything which is sad to say because I love Jungkook but if I was in this situation sis I would be doing the same thing I might drown his ass because <laughs> I would be able to take it Especially when that motherfucker was in that fucking coffin. I literally genuinely started fucking crying from tears of laughter. Because I was like, this nigga is stupid. Like, there's no reason why he should be on this type of timing. But he was. And the song. Yes, the song. This song was great. It was a lovely uh, pop song. Which for some reason people were mad at. Because... For some reason, everyone has an entitlement. Everyone's a music uh, critic of highest of stabilities. And for some reason, pop songs aren't doing it anymore. Like, you act like the whole genre doesn't have pop in it. In K-pop. It's K-pop. Like, uh, okay. Um, they were also trying to say it was just too Western for their style, sweetheart. Like, have you heard... That's everything that's been going on with K-pop as of right now. Especially with a lot of stuff that's been getting put out. Like, get out of here. Like, some of y'all have y'all stick so far up y'all's asses that you smell your own shit. But yet, for some reason, you're so delusionally nose blind that you can't see it's bullshit. Ugh. Y'all take the fun out of everything. Now that I've calmed down, let's let's get into the actual mini analysis of the music video. What I've noticed between all the members that there's a storyline, there's a meeting, there's a there's a an analyzation of each music video. And for Jungkook, basically, it can be summed down to. I will be with you through the thick and the thin. Let's just say that. Even like the whole him being in the restaurant with the girl. This is their first time, uh, our first time seeing this Tom Fooley happen. And let's just say it's a lot of shit going on around them. Um, and he seems perfectly fine with it, but she seems to notice all the shit around it in the, the whole relationship. Um, like when he was hanging off the fucking. <laughs> Subway, he was no, she, she, he didn't give a fuck what was going on. He was trying to be next to her while she was just annoyed that he is still there. He's quite literally walking on the subway, by the way. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it, but, and still singing to her. So, like, there's, then it's during, they were in the, like, the laundromat. He was still there. He was in the water with her. He didn't, there was not a single time where he was, you know, looking at her during this whole process. And I'm getting to, it's getting to, the, I got to the point where I kind of understood what he was trying to tell. Like, no matter what, like, me, it's me and you. Like, no matter what the fuck is going on here, fuck everything else. It's me and you. But when that motherfucker <laughs> got that fucking coffin... <laughs> And I thought he truly died, finally. I was kind of, I was so a little bummed. But I was like, oh my god, at least she gets a break from him. But this motherfucker, after like, um, Lotto's rap verse ended, this motherfucker opens the casket. I was like, god damn, let this man die. And, and no, I don't mean him actually really dying. But still, like, motherfucker, go away. <laughs> 
Speaking of the lottery woman herself, um, the the rap ver vocal version, like her her verse. There was a lot of getting around to get to that, but her verse was actually nice. It was on theme. It was sexy. It was very sexy. She was sexy. She was sitting on top of the fucking coffin, which. In hindsight, right, after watching the music video, she was sitting on top of him, indirectly. But we're not going to elaborate into that. Um, I really liked it. It was actually really mature. There was no subliminal or mildness to it. It was it was sexy, and it was unapologetically sexy. We had the slurping. We had the glurpling. We was like, which he said, you can't be thinking about cheating. Got you missing um, meetings and something like that. Like, I was like, yes, fuck it up, eat up, eat up, eat up. I actually liked her verse. It was nice. It was decent for the song. It fit the song, and it didn't try to overpower it, or nor did it try to, like, um, outdo the actual artist of the main caliber. But she, there was no possible way she was going to outdo Junkers because... That music video alone had me in up in arms and I <laughs> 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 laughing and crying. Now on to more um calmer notes, I guess you could say. Let's just go for the rating. And let's actually talk about the soon projection uh yeah, projection of the songs. That's going to be following along with the album that's going to get released and stuff like that. I would have had been seeing with a lot of armies in the, like, the discourse of the song. People, Some people like it, some people don't. That's their tea, you know, that's their whole, you know, the dead to go about. But yeah. One thing's for sure, this is a great solo, well, single to pop out before you get a good album. Because now I'm expecting this damn album. I wanted to, him to fuck up the gang with this album. What I don't like is that a lot of, I guess you can say solos. I don't necessarily know if it's solos or if it's just like anti, like I don't know who the fuck these people are, but y'all got a lot of audacity as of recently. Like I don't necessarily know who the fuck is getting all this audacity from because it's, um, it's, in, we're in the midst of JK's promotionary period, right? Because him and um, him and the rest of the gang are going to be leaving this time this year or sometime next year. Early next year because everybody wants to come out around the same time from the military. And... We're kind of left in this position where a lot of, like, there's some things that didn't happen for other artists, and so there's certain things that have happened for artists, and for some reason, a lot of people are trying to compare it, saying it's unfair, and it's this, and it's that, and it's a lot of bullshit that's going on, and it's like, can we be all appreciative that these motherfuckers are still working and just didn't go to the military, leaving us ash dry for two years? Truly, can we just be appreciative of that? Because they didn't necessarily have to do this. They could have all left right after the um, concert. See with that. Like, they could have all left and said, fuck us. Like, you know, fuck it. You know, we've already gave them a good amount of body of work. We didn't have to do solos. We didn't have to do none of this shit. We could have took a break as a unit and then come back well refreshed to fuck up the game again. So why is it there's so much discourse with the fucking Machnes? Like, they don't even see each other every single day. Like, I just don't understand. Like, y'all, I don't, what is this, all this belligerent and comparisons and this, it's a lot of this and that and the yapping. And I don't know if it's just, um, immature armies or if it's antis or solo stands or like, I don't know, but it's, getting real scary out here because they're not even that we're not at full capacity none of the members are as a group like this is all just solo work so 
So, like, I'm just, I'm confused. I'm confuzzled. I am trying my best to understand where we're going with this. Truly, because, like, this is kind of disgraceful at this point. But that tangent over about that. Let's actually get back into the actual song at hand. Um, Seven is a bop. It's it's the summer anthem. Um, he, no one's fucking me right. Um, just, except for Jungle. Seven days a week. <laughs> so it's a ten out of ten, baby. And before y'all say that I am being very much. Um, biased in my uh review i am fuck y'all um i am biased because joke makes me belligerent sometimes man i am a proud wife of min yoongi but i am a belligerent mistress to jungkook <laughs> and here goes me you know saying that he got no hoes because his house had a whole like weight equipment set up and all of a sudden like you know he got hoes. He just got <laughs> I was yes, I don't think he got hoes. Like <laughs> Babe, it's just me. Like <laughs> I'm tickled by this shit. I'm sorry. Like if you like my uh, video, comment if you want to talk about more about how JK doesn't have hoes, or your theories about the music video, or your thoughts about the music video, or my opinion so far. Um, <laughs> make sure you leave a like if you like my tomfoolery and my bullshit. Um, comment. Wait, I already said that. <laughs> This shit off. I'll see you guys in your night. Bye.